Hi, in this tutorial, we'll be going over pathfinding for AI. Now, before I start, I want to give a shout out to Weaver900 for helping me figure this out. So we're back in our level that we had created earlier, the one with the giant seagull. So the first thing we need to do here to get this started is to go into your scenarios and click generate all pathfinding data. So click that. Depending on your map you're in, it might take longer than other maps. But just wait for this to finish. Okay, so mine just finished. And now what we want to do is file, save scenario, and then exit out of this and open up Gorilla. Now once you have Gorilla open, you want to go to File, Open, and go to your scenario. So that will be located under Levels, Multi, and Zanzibar, and Zanzibar.scenario. Now once this is loaded in, at the very top, you'll see a flag that says Don't Strip Pathfinding. Select that, and you'll see a little asterisk appear right beside Scenario. Just click File, Save, and you'll see it'll disappear, and that means it's successfully saved. Now, Let's exit this and go back to Sapien. Now here we are back in Sapien. After loading up our scenario, what you want to do is go into the AI drop down and click zones. Now under zones, you want to hit new instance and then under zone zero, you want to drop that down and select firing positions. Now you want with the firing positions folder selected, you want to just right click where you want your enemies to go to or friendlies. So let's do some of these red boxes here. And these are basically spots where they will go to essentially stop and fire. So if I had four of these or six of these, sorry, each grunt will go to one and take it up and just kind of sit there. But since we have more than six, it makes them kind of run around. So now that we have these selected, you want to click on the bottom one or top one, hold the shift and select the last one. So now you have all your firing positions selected. Now hold control and click N. You'll see they all change pink and say area zero. So now what you want to do is go into your squads and select the squad you want to be moving around in that area to those firing positions. So let's choose these grunts in the front here. What you want to do is right here, when you select squads one, you want to select initial zone to zone zero, which is this that we just made. So to get this to actually work, you're going to need to do a map reset. Now let's do that. And look, you'll see these grunts will be moving around and you'll see they're kind of going towards these firing positions. So if you want them to go kind of in the middle, you can place them more in the middle. If you want them to go kind of outer, you can place in the outer areas and they'll kind of patrol this area here. So you see some went off that way, some grunts are going off this way. So let's say you also wanted to add these grunts to this group. You can just select them, squad zero, and just select the initial zone to zone zero as well. And you'll see here, you don't even need to do a map reset. They'll just start moving. So now you have your grunts kind of patrolling this area. And I'm gonna show you now how to add more of an area. And also these grunts will go out of this area to attack you. So they'll move around and they'll try and kill you. But let's say we want to increase that area. Go into your zone zero and go to areas, sorry, go to firing positions and then click around in the places you want to go to. So for instance, I'm just going to go, I want them to go farther out here. So let's put some along the edge over here. 
and select all these ones that say none and change the area from none to area zero. And now let's just do scenarios, map reset. So now our grunts will move farther out. As you can see, this one's already going. These two are already going farther out. Some over here are going farther out. Some are using the inner ones. So you can kind of almost sculpt this in a specific way of how you want the movement to be. Now, you can also make more than one zone. For instance, if you want some enemies here, and then we want to go over here maybe, and let's just make another group of enemies and have another zone that's in this area. So first, let's go into squads, click new instance, and we'll have squads too. So let's go plus, and then select the fire teams, and then under the, under the fire teams, we want to change character type. Let's change that to grunt heavy. So once we have that set, we can set their initial weapon again. Uh, let's set that to, uh, let's go with Needler again. And the grenade type to Covenant Plasma. Now I'm gonna place down 10 of these. So remember, change your normal diff count to 10. And also remember to go into your squad setting and set initially placed. Now again, let's go back, click Grunt Heavy, and let's click where we want them to spawn. So let's make them a little farther out. Cool. So now we can go and we can right click our squad two, click play squads. Now what we need to do is create another zone for this area. So let's click zones, click new instance, and now we'll see it says zones one. Drop that down, go to firing positions, and you'll notice you'll still have all the old firing positions here. That's fine. We're just gonna click around here, wherever we want them to go. So let's just do this. And you definitely don't need to make these as big. Let me actually just show you guys here, or sorry, as close together. You can go like this if you want to. And some here. If you want to take kind of a bigger area, let's make them go even over here. And you know what? I'm going to actually add some more grunts just to make this a little more interesting. Let's select squad two and grunt heavy. Let's make some more over here. So let's add 10 more. So there's seven, eight, nine, 10. So let's change this to 20. And now in squads two, you see you have zones one and zones zero. You want to select zones one. But you'll notice they're still going forward. That's because we need to go to firing positions and we need to select all these ones to say none and hit cold control and click N. And now under this, you want to select the areas one, let's go scenarios, map reset. And look, you'll notice now they're walking around here, which is pretty cool. Now, I, I set the team incorrectly because they're default and these are covenant, so you'll see we're having a little battle here. This is why it's important to set the team of your squad. So let's click squad two and change the team from default to covenant. And that should stop all the madness. I may need to do a map reset, but let's just double check that all our squads are set as covenant. Cool. Now let's do a map preset, and here they are.
we have all of our grunts moving around very dynamically. And yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.